Hi, everyone. You know, today, Otto and I are going to tell you a Bible story. Otto, are you ready to help me with the story? I sure am, Dennis. Great. <laughs> now, a long time ago, mm -hmm. there was a man named Noah. Hmm. Noah lived among very wicked people. <gasps> In fact, everyone was so bad hmm? that God decided to destroy the <gasps> earth with a flood. What? Only Noah and his family found favor in God's eyes. Hmm. God told Noah to build a boat. An ark. Uh, right, Otto. Mm -hmm. It was called an ark. Mm -hmm. He and his three sons hmm. worked on the ark for many years. Hmm. Now, God gave Noah the dimensions and told him what kind of wood to use. By the time it was done, it was longer than a <gasps> football field. That ark must have been ginormous. Yep, it was pretty oh, big. Wow. God then told Noah to gather every animal, mm -hmm. male and female, mm -hmm. into the ark. Otters especially. What? What? What about sh sharks? No, no, no. <laughs> there were no sharks on the ark. Hmm. Only animals and birds. No fish. No fish? No fish. What? But I'll explain that later in mm. our story. Mm. Now, Noah believed God mm. and obeyed him. Mm. It took a long time to build the ark. Mm. And when Noah finally got all the different animals on board, Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives went into the ark. In the dark? Yeah, you're right, because mm. the sky became very dark. Mm. All of a sudden, it began to rain, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. Forty days and forty nights nonstop. The waters went above even the highest mountain. Every living thing on earth was destroyed. Only Noah and those in the ark survived. What about the sharks? Okay, Otto. The fish and sharks lived, but everything else died. Now, after the rain stopped, mm -hmm. the ark floated on the water for a long time and finally rested on a mountain. Noah waited a while and then sent a bird out to see if it could find dry land. Did Noah send a lark from the ark? <laughs> <laughs> no, Otto, it wasn't a lark. Mm -hmm. It was a raven, oh. and it never came back. Do you think the shark scared the lark? Or, or, I mean, the raven. <laughs> well, maybe a shark did scare it. Mm. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> Noah waited a little longer mm -hmm. and sent out a dove. Oh. The dove came back. Noah waited longer and sent the dove out again. Mm. The dove came back again, but this time with a twig from an olive tree. Mm. The third time he sent the dove out, it, it didn't come back. So Noah figured it must have found dry land. After being in the ark for over a year, Noah realized it was finally safe to come out. Now, the first thing Noah did when he got out of the ark was... Take a shower? <laughs> no, Otto. Huh. Not a shower. Well, then to brush his teeth, huh? No. <laughs> to build an altar mm. and offer a sacrifice oh. to God. God was pleased that Noah did this and put a rainbow in the sky as a promise to Noah and the whole human race mm. that he would never destroy the earth by a flood again. Mm. And that's the story of Noah. Well, I like that story, Dennis. Do, do you know any songs about Noah's Ark? Well, I sure do, Otto. Oh, good. Have you ever heard the Arky Arky song? <gasps> remember singing that one in Sunday school. Let's get started and hopefully it won't take us 40 days and 40 nights <laughs> <laughs> to sing it. <laughs> All right. said to Noah, there's gonna be a bloody, bloody Lord said to Noah, there's gonna be a bloody, bloody Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Animals, the animals. 
animals, they came in by twosies, twosies, animals, the animals, they came in by twosies, twosies, elephants, and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. The sun came out and dried up the landy, landy sun came out and dried up the landy, landy. Everything was fine and dandy, dandy children of the Sorry, sorry. Goodness. I really <laughs> like that song, uh -huh. and I'm glad you like mm. the story of Noah, mm -hmm. because the Bible is mm. full of wonderful yes. stories that we'll talk about later. Mm. Well, let's get going, because it's about meal time. Yeah, let's go to Red Lobster, because I'm <laughs> starving. Otto, you're always starving. <laughs> Boys and girls of all ages, mm -hmm. if you want to read about Noah for yourself, mm -hmm. His story is found in Genesis, the mm. very first book mm -hmm. of the Bible, about chapter 6. Mm. If you don't have a Bible and would like one, let us know here at church, and we'll make sure that you get one. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. everybody. Hey, Dennis, yep. let's go see what Miss Robin's doing for Craft Corner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you like my swimsuit? Yes. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to Miss Robin's Craft Corner. It's nice to have you with us today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the story of Noah's Ark um, that Otto and Dennis told tonight. And so we're going to get started with our craft. And we are going to make a cloud with rainbow in it for a reminder of that story. So I hope you've collected all of your craft supplies because we're going to get started. First off, you should have a nice white piece of paper. And what I want you to do on that paper is just take a black marker or a black crayon and we're going to just draw a cloud. And to me, clouds are real puffy. And so just, just draw it by hand. Just go, ooh, there's cloud. And we'll do like this and over here and maybe over like this and maybe like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Clouds aren't perfect, are they? Every cloud has a different shape like every snowflake has a different shape. So you'll come up with something that looks like this, a cloud. Then what I'd like for you to do, remember we ask you to make or to gather several different pieces of colored paper or construction paper, whatever you have at home. And I've already pre-cut my strips to save some time, but you will need to cut your strips eight inches long and help mom or dad help you with a ruler eight inches long by one inch wide. So I would like for you to take your time and cut six 
strips. So I've cut a purple one, a blue, a green, a yellow, an orange, and a red. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you time to do that and get your six strips cut. Okay, the next thing we're going to do after you've gotten your strips cut, we're going to go ahead and cut our cloud out of this white paper. So take your time in doing that to make your cloud look really nice. And you want to kind of keep that black crayon or marker so it kind of outlines the cloud so you can see it really good. So while we're doing that, we're going to talk a little bit about the spring and the spring rains that we're going to be getting to make all the beautiful grass turn green and the flowers grow. And of course, if you're like me, I'd rather be mowing grass than shoveling snow. So I'm really glad to see that spring has sprung. So we're just about done here with our cloud. And hopefully you've got your glue stick ready or you can use a uh, scotch tape or even if you have a double-sided tape that's sticky on both sides, you can use that. Tonight, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my glue stick. So this is the front of your cloud. So lay it kind of face down. And it really doesn't matter what order you put your um, little rainbow strips because we're going to glue them to the back of the cloud. And it doesn't really matter what order the colors are in. So what I did, I took my glue stick and I just kind of went down just a little bit here with my glue. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that to the back of my cloud. Okay, so it looks something like this. This is the front and this is the back. So that's why we put it face down to glue our strips on. My next color, I think I'm going to put a blue on. And same thing, you just kind of want to, you know, separate them just a little bit. Okay, like that. That's the front. That's what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and glue down all of our other colors. And remember, we're only going down about an inch or so with our glue. Okay, we've got six strips that we're going to glue. So I think my next color I'm going to use after this green one is a pretty bright yellow one. I'm going to put that on the back of my cloud. And like I said, you can use tape. To, to tape these strips down to the back of your cloud. Okay, here's my pretty orange one that I'm going to put down. And then red. Red's about my favorite color. So I'm going to put the red strip next. So actually, your cloud should look like this. All right? So the next thing we're going to do is write on our cloud. And when Miss Robin made her first one, I was just going to put the, all the words on the cloud like I did. God is faithful and he keeps his promises. And then I was going to leave all my strips plain with no writing on them. You can do that. But I thought after I made this one, I kind of like, and which I'm going to make tonight, God is faithful. And then I'm going to write, he keeps his promises down the, the um, pretty rainbow strips. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. You see, this was the first one Miss Robin made. And then I thought, oh, I kind of like the words down the strips. So that's the one I'm going to make tonight. So you take your black marker and what you want to do is you want to write God is faithful.
And I like to put an exclamation point there because God is faithful. So here we've got our words. God is faithful. F-A-I-T-H-F-U-L. And then I've got an exclamation point. And then on this orange strip or whatever color that you have right here, you know, just the second one in, we're going to write the word he, H-E. Okay, so we go like this. He, like that. And then your next one over on the third strip, keeps. We want the word keeps. K E E P S. Okay, like this. And then on the fourth strip over, we want to write the word his. H I S. H I S. And then on this fifth strip, we're going to write the word promises. Now, it's a pretty long word for this strip, so we're going to have to make our letters just a little bit smaller so they all fit on that strip. Promises is spelt P R O M I. S E S. Okay? So your cloud with your rainbow strips are going to look like this. I like this way better than when I wrote all the words on the cloud, the first one that I made. So I kind of like this one better. But you can do what you'd like. Now, the last piece that we have to put on here is a little hanger. So if you have a piece of yarn or ribbon or string, you need to cut that. Oh, I cut mine about six inches long. And you want to fold it in half like this. So you got a loop, okay? And I put mine on the back of my cloud. I kind of separated the ends a little bit, okay? So they lay flat. And what I did with mine is I just used some tape and I taped mine down because it's not heavy. You know, what you're going to hang up is not heavy at all. So I just put a couple pieces of tape on the back. See, like this. Okay. And then you can hang it up like maybe on... Uh, a little nail in your room if you have one. And remember that God does keep his promises. He kept his promise to Noah, didn't he? He said, Noah, please build an ark because I promise you I'm going to make it rain 40 days and 40 nights. And you and your family will be safe inside of this ark. Plus, bring in two animals of every kind. And then... I will stop the rain in 40 nights. And God kept his promises. He keeps them still today. He promises you that he will love you no matter what we've done in our life. He loves us unconditionally. And that means that God doesn't say, I will love you if you do this. No, he doesn't. He loves us with all his heart. And so he keeps his many promises. And we can find many of his promises in the Bible. So I encourage you, if you do not have a Bible at home, please let us know here at church and we'll make sure that you get one. Okay, so that's all I have for you for Craft Corner. And I hope you enjoy your little cloud with the rainbow strips. I love you, take care, and we'll see you next time right here at Miss Robin's Craft Corner. Bye, everybody.